Using the iPhone or the iPod Touch version of Restaurant Butler is quite easy when you're already used to the iPad version. When you start the application, you can see the users again, which you can click to log in. Clicking on them moves you to the tables view. Here we can see all the tables again. This time they are just ordered alphabetically, since this is more efficient on a smaller screen. We again have the color codes. We have green, which means that some people are sitting there and have already ordered. And we have red, which means the receipt has already been printed, but it hasn't been paid yet. Finally, we can again see our lock symbol, which means a waiter is currently busy with that table. When we now select the table, we move to the orders view. Here we can see all the products again. We can scroll through the list and we can double tap products to add them. When we click an item again, we can see uh, below what item it is and uh, what the price is again and how many we already have ordered. We can also always see the complete price of the receipt at that time. On our right, we also have an index which allows us to quickly scroll through the list. And we can go from category to category this way. And on the way, we can easily add new products. We can also move completely up to do a search. So if we were to type Maison, we can see all the items with Maison are in the list. Now when we remove everything again, we are again to our, we can again see all our products. We can also click the keyboard button at the bottom, and while we do that, we switch to the ID selection view. Here we can just type in numbers or letters to quickly select our products. For instance, one is our special menu. We can say we want five of that. We add it, and we have five times the special menu. If we want to print something now, we need to click on the receipt icon. This moves us to the receipt view. Here we can see all the products that we have already added to our receipt. Just like in the iPad version of Restaurant Butler, we can double tap, tap on icons to add more. Or we can long press to bring up a pop-up menu in which we can change the name and the price and the amount of our product. Here we can also print to the bar, which will remove all the things that can be made at the bar. Then we click print to kitchen. And we can again see our pop-up to reorder all our products so that the chef knows what to make when. For now, we're just going to click print. And then we can print our receipt. And finally, we can pay which moves us back to the tables view. This concludes our screencast for the Posios Restaurant Butler for the iPod and iPhone. Thank you. I hope you visit us at www.posios.com. See you later for more.